Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, we'll see the recipe of delicious Indian style paneer open toast. Let's get started. For the paneer masala, we need one big size tomato, roughly chop it. 7 to 8 garlic cloves, add to your mixer grinder jar and make a smooth paste. Add a little water only if required. Look at the consistency, this is exactly what we need. Heat your kadhai or pan, add 2 to 3 teaspoon oil. Add in the prepared puree. You may add a little water. Approximately 1 4 teaspoon turmeric and 2 teaspoon red chilli powder. Use 1 teaspoon if using hot red chilli powder. Half teaspoon kitchen king masala or you can add pav bhaji masala, chicken masala, meat masala, any of your favorite masala. Little salt as per your taste. Cover and cook till the oil separates from the sides. Keep stirring occasionally so that the masala doesn't stick to the base of your kadhai or pan and doesn't burn. So it's very important that you keep stirring the masala in between. And again cover. Once the masala is cooked, there would be no raw smell and you would notice that oil has separated from the sides. So it's perfect. Add in 200 gram of Indian cottage cheese that is paneer cut into medium sized pieces. Gently mix. You may fry the paneer pieces before adding to this masala. But I would suggest that you add the paneer pieces just like that. Our paneer mixture is ready. Let's move to the next step. Here I've got 4 bread slices. Apply some butter, room temperature butter. But with this recipe, you can make 5 such open toasts. So you would need 5 bread slices. These aren't very small, aren't very big, medium sized, fresh, soft bread slices. Spread the paneer mixture evenly. It's very important that you use a very good quality bread. If the bread is dry, crumbly, your toast, though it would taste good, but it wouldn't be the best. Add in some mozzarella cheese, so approximately 1 tablespoon on each toast. You may add more if you want. Add more towards the center. I'm also adding processed cheese, so here I've got 2 cubes, so I'm grating 2 cubes over all my open toasts. You don't need to add one entire cube on one toast. If you want to bake these in your OTG, preheat at 180 degrees Celsius, pop them in and keep them inside till the cheese melts. Take a pan or tawa. You can also use a tawa if you have a lid that fits on your tawa because we are going to cover this toast. Place your toast inside and cover. Keep the flame low, very low so that the cheese also melts at the same time the base becomes crispy and doesn't burn. Sprinkle some chili flakes. If you do not have chili flakes, you can sprinkle red chili powder or totally skip it. Look at the beautiful golden base. Repeat the same steps to make rest of the toasts. If you have a big tawa with a big lid, you can make 4 toasts in one go. Sprinkle some fresh chopped coriander and serve the toasts right away. These are so delicious that you won't even need any ketchup or mayo or anything with these toasts. With this recipe, you can make 5 medium sized toasts. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Terrace Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. Do give this recipe a try and enjoy!